Hi, my name is Hugo Mejia, and today we have Sipika Kumar, who is the owner of Grace Threading, and she's going to be doing a live demonstration of what threading is. Tell us a little bit about threading. Threading is a substitute for a waxing for a facial hair removal. Um, it's very organic way to take the facial hair out from the root without damaging any skin. People who are struggling with retin-A, they are using retin-A or Accutane. Uh, Sometimes doctor prescribe them. They are blood thinner. They cannot do waxing, but they can still do threading. And it's a very precise way to shape their eyebrows. And I'm going to make a loop like a scissors. How does it feel? Uh, it doesn't hurt at all. Hmm. I don't feel anything. How does it compare to waxing? Because I would feel, is it, it seems. Waxing is very painful. I've had waxing <laughs> before. <laughs> this, this doesn't hurt. I mean, I'm, it can hurt a little bit. Right. Um, but um, right now, I don't even feel it really. Okay, and it looks, you can see that it's taking, out, taking it out, the hairs from the root, it looks. You can take fuzzies yeah. out too from this where uh, waxing, the hair needs to be half inches long to do a good wax. But threading, the hair just needs to be out. The preciseness of the eyebrows, what you can achieve with this, there is no way you can achieve with the waxing. And it's very organic way, it's very gentle for the skin, especially for the facial hairs. Uh, it's nothing involved, just a spool of thread. Hmm. No chemicals, nothing involved. All natural, all organic? Okay. Yes. And people of any skin type, they can do that. Um, it doesn't rip the skin off. And the eyebrows, I sometimes think, uh, shape. We really focused on the shape. If it's done right, it can really enhance the features. But if it's not, it can really damage. Hmm. So how we shape the eyebrows, what things what we need to focus on. We really work on that at Grace Threading. We train people a lot over there. Education is the biggest part over there. Training and continuing education and keep focusing and learning, it's a very important thing for us. Um, I hope you will all guys will come there, try us, and it's a very inexpensive way to do that. We charge only $10 for the eyebrows. And 10 done, 11th is free. Can you believe it? <laughs> <laughs> wow, so ev for every 10 uh, threadings of the eyebrows, yeah. you get the 11th one free. So that's yes. something good to know. Yeah. Uh -huh. And in Scripps Ranch location, we does offer facials and waxing services too. Try our mini facial. It's only $35. I mean, believe uh, the quality, what we offer, and the affordability, what we stand for, that's our slogan. So... Try and then feel yourself. Um, and the Hillcrest location, we are offering only threading. Males, females, uh, your clientele, typical clientele, what does it consist of? Uh, well, both. Uh, yes, it's dominant by women, 80% women, but 20% men's. Great. So we have Grace Threading with two locations, and the locations will be available at the end of the show. Thank you so much, Teresa, and thank you, Sipika, for being on the show. I really appreciate it. Uh, we'll be right back. Thank you. Hello, you are watching in vivo. I'm here with Sipika Kumar, who is the owner of Grace Threading. And we uh, Teresa here is a very faithful customer of four to five years, correct, Teresa? Yes, yes. Four to five years. And t let's talk about the procedure that we that she, t that she had. How painful, what, how painful was that, Teresa? Uh, it's not painful at all. It, it can get a little painful, especially the upper lip, um, but she'll use a really strong cotton thread mm -hmm. that um, makes it where it's not painful. I think uh, I've had waxing before and I think threading is really not painful. Hmm. That's waxing th is, but not threading. Yeah. So very, very relative, uh, relatively painless technique. Yes. yes Let's talk yes. about the history of threading as far. Where, where does it originate from? Well, I'm from India. I mean, it's originated India and a lot of Middle East countries. Mm -hmm. um, they also do that. How um, long have you been doing threading? It's been 14 years. Um, 14 years? 14 years, She's yes. an expert. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I learned as a teenager, but professionally, 14 years. 
And the training, how I understand, you mentioned uh, that the training, as far as training your employees, how it's, it's a lot of about being consistent, correct? Yes, consistency and the shaping of the eyebrows. Sometimes I think threading anybody can do that, but to give the right shape of the brows, you really need to ha learn the proper technique because everybody's uh, features are not the same. They right. are different. So you have to do it according to their facial features. Mm -hmm. We have tons of different ethnicity, so we have to work according to that okay. and with suits on their face because I really believe that if the eyebrows are done right, it can really enhance. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. Don't forget to visit Sipika Kumar's business. Uh, their slogan is quality service at affordable pricing, grace threading. Be there. Now, wasn't that interesting with threading? Do you know what it is now, Hugo? I finally know what threading is, and it apparently it is not dangerous. It's not painful. Well, maybe just a little, little bit, but it isn't, it isn't too bad, according to the model. No. And it's an alternative to uh, waxing, waxing and... Lasering. And plucking. And plucking, yeah. And, of course, removal, which and that I, can be painful as and well. And I love the historical background. It, the roots, it originated in India, middle, yeah. the Middle East, and it's, it's just, it seems it's very intricate work, isn't it? Well, they didn't have the tools, right. uh, and so they used the, what they had, which was the threads, and they took the threads and they turned into scissors. And that's how they, and so what's interesting, as you knew, is they pulled the hair out by the root. They just don't cut it off at the surface. Hmm. So it's very helpful. And when it goes back, it goes back lighter and thinner. And then compared to waxing, I mean, waxing, you basically just tear off your skin. This is just specifically the little hairs, isn't it? Correct. And you're more <laughs> precise. 